Forms of birth control must be used monthly, like hormone-based pills, but this method isn't just for use in preventing pregnancy. Birth control pills are also used for many conditions in gynecology. So here to talk about some of the beneficial uses is Dr. Sharon Thompson. Dr. T, we have taken you off of Zoom and we have you here in we real We're life. Back. We're so excited to see you. IRL this morning. <laughs> I wish women's forms of birth control gave them two days of sitting on the couch with peas. Watching TV, <laughs> right? I mean, I could, I could do a Bravo marathon and, you know, exactly. who knows what. Snapped. Um, so what are some of the benefits? Because we really a lot of times are thinking about birth control as being dangerous, like increasing maybe your cancer risk later mm -hmm. on in life. Uh, what are some of the benefits? In fact, birth control pills, I always say they're misnamed okay. because they have so many benefits outside of the birth control benefit. And one of them, you mentioned cancer, is actually reduction of risk of cancer. Mm. So birth control pills reduce the risk of uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, importantly, and colon cancer. So they have cancer benefits in addition to lots of benefits around menstrual cycle control. Okay. So many women have heavy bleeding with periods or their periods don't come every month and birth control pills can help with that. Mm -hmm. Many women also have other symptoms around their periods like headaches or mood changes control pills can help with that too. Mm -hmm. So we really need to get a new name for them. Okay. <laughs> Is this the still the most common common use of contraception in general for women? So birth control pills still is the most common. Okay. Um, uh, intrauterine devices are pretty common as well. Mm -hmm. But the pill has a lot of benefits because during the month, a woman's hormones, and there's several of them, they go up and down in a particular cycle. And sometimes that those changes in the hormones can change other things. Like mm -hmm. some of them have bloating mm -hmm. or acne. Mm -hmm. Birth control pills help with both of those things. Um, so there's so many benefits around keeping the hormone level smooth throughout the month as opposed to the natural ups and downs. And some people have very <clears throat> irregular periods, and this is one way to kind of know what's, what's coming. Exactly. And then, too, some women, um, because they have symptoms with their periods very painful or very heavy, eliminating the periods can be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Because most people don't recognize that if you're not making babies, there's no health reason to have a period. And so eliminating those periods can be more healthy for women sometimes, and we can do that with birth control pills as well. So it, people can have a challenge with when they're getting on a pill for the first mm -hmm. time, right? So what are some of the uh, things to expect and to be talking about with your doctor? I mean, what what is attributed to just it takes a while to get used to that particular one or you're on the wrong one? That's a great question. So we change pills for symptoms that are bothersome. What, what can those include? So in the beginning, you'll have a regular bleeding while your body sort of adjusts. You may have some bloating, some changes in your breasts. Those tend to go away over the first several months. Changes that we worry about are significant changes in blood pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why we always have you come back okay. so we can check blood pressure. For most people, it's not an issue. And blood clotting is one that you hear a lot about, but that's actually a very rare event. So for an older woman in her 30s, late 30s or 40s who does not smoke, that risk of a blood clot on the birth control pill is about one in five to 7,000. So it mm -hmm. still is a very rare event. That's why you may hear from time to time people talk about birth control pills over the counter without a prescription because they're actually quite safe mm -hmm. and they have lots of benefits like we've been talking about. Painful periods and excessive bleeding mm -hmm. can be can be addressed with this as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Some women can become anemic because mm -hmm. their periods are so heavy. If you eliminate the periods or lighten the periods, that will go away. Mm -hmm. What about endometriosis? Endometriosis. So endometriosis we know is a very painful mm -hmm. disorder. Birth control pills can help with that too. Okay. Both by eliminating the period and eliminating those big surges in hormones that can make the endometriosis grow. Mm -hmm. So birth control pills are a first line treatment for endometriosis. Are you seeing more and more women who are, are, are past the, 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 their, their planning stage of having children um, go to some of the more long term uh, solutions or the ablations and? We are seeing a surge in what we call the long-acting reversible contraceptives, okay. the IUDs, the intrauterine devices, the implants that go in your arm, uh -huh. um, and the birth control injections. Because women just want control that they don't have to deal with every day. Mm -hmm. And so those are some methods that work for that. And some of the same benefits? And not all of the not same all benefits of, okay. of the pill, but many, especially the Mirena IUD or the hormone-containing IUD. They okay. can get lots of benefits from that one Have those well. conversations with the doctor. Definitely. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much. It's wonderful you to see welcome. you. Great to be in real life. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we missed you. Well Hang out all day.